Alright, kind of just wanted to upload a video to let you know I was still alive. I haven't uploaded in what, 10 days maybe? And yeah. Uh, you can skip to 15 minutes or so to see the actual game. I think I'll record it. Uh, it's a video about an Age of Empire game, so yeah. You can skip there. It's actually going to be 15 minutes and 30 by the length of this clip, I think. It's basically just me fucking rambling at this kid um, who just really pissed me off so fucking much it's insane um, I don't even know how that it got that bad but yeah it got really really fucking bad for me like oh my god I was pissed so yeah um, I think that's the purpose of a troll but that guy was not a troll he was serious so there's the problem and there's where I got pissed and yeah, actually you can skip to almost 16 minutes. Uh, what I mean by you can skip to 16 minutes, of course, is if you want to only see the Age of Empire games, uh, game. Because um, I do plan on just uploading that separately. Uh, uploading that separately. Just putting it at the end of the video because whatever. Um, it's better if there's sound on it. So I, I could just put the video over, I guess. Hmm. But my clips are MP4, not MP3. I don't want to fucking convert those. I don't even know if Movie Maker could do it for me, but eh, too much trouble. Just skip to 16 minutes and 15 or listen to the entire video. It will, because it's not really about the Age of Empire game, it's more about uh, the Age of Empire dumbass player. I got really pissed off on Age of Empire today. I was playing with this guy, basically, okay. Um, we play uh, 2v2 against a bot. He gets attacked, he has no troops, the guy is just sending a lot of troops at him. Uh, they break his walls, he's not doing anything. First reflex, hey, I'm gonna go into your base and make another base. I tell him, hey, you can settle over there. And he's like at 1.5k points or something. I'm at like well over 2000, the bot's at well over 2000 also. Uh, I, can, I can basically get the same amount of points a moderate bot does. Um, I can skip him a bit during the later game, depending on how I play, and we should have been able to win really easily, but he just played very, very bad, poorly, very, very bad is not a good description, It did. it's not even correct grammar is what I meant to say, whatever, and you say I'm getting destroyed by those demons, but that's fine, um, what was I gonna say, and yeah, then he's like, oh, we're losing because you didn't help me, and I'm like, yeah, you didn't help me either. And he's like, well, yeah, I didn't have to help you because he didn't attack you. And then I'm like, yeah, exactly. So you didn't help me. And then I know this makes no sense. I just, I just want to test people's logic when I say shit like that. And I, you know, of course he didn't help me. Why the hell would he have helped me if he's the one getting attacked? But he didn't, he didn't say anything to that. So I just kept on going with that. And I'm like, yeah, but if I don't help you and you don't help me, then how is it my fault? And he's like, well, you didn't make any troops. And I said, you didn't make any troops either. I had started making them like a bit before I attacked you. I still had troops, but I couldn't send them to you. There was no point. You were dying. Then he's like, yeah, I didn't make troops because I didn't, I didn't think I was going to get attacked first, which makes no sense. Why would you assume you're not going to get attacked first? Like, you can't freaking know that. <laughs> All right. I want to add something to the story right now. Um, this is after I I went to upload this, well not upload but edit this, but yeah, um, basically when he got attacked, uh, we were already in Castle Age. I start making troops right when Castle Age starts because um, I start making uh, upgraded archers with the Mayans that game, and they cost less. Basically, if you don't know how Age of Empire works. Um, different civilizations have different bonuses, and my civilization, Mayans, have a 20% reduction on archers' cost in Castle Age, and only a 10% in Feudal Age, so when you go from Feudal to Castle, they cost a lot less. So I decide to make them in when Castle Age arrives, and I was already pretty well walled. Walled means uh, they can't just run in your base, they're gonna have to break your walls. and. He was not very well walled, I think, because they just ran in his base, like, within 30 seconds they were in, and, yeah, he didn't have any troops. I don't know why, but, yeah, that happened. Come on, you're not, 
it's a 2v1 it's you're placed on the map basically if the map was like this you're basically one player is there one player is there and the butt is there well it's a, it's more like in the corner but whatever and you like how the hell do you just think he's going to go for me he always assume he always assumes he's not going to get attacked and he always doesn't make throws when the game starts and then we play another game i just set it up to islands um team islands free for all basically uh four players two standard bots there's no way the bots are going to win that it's just basically a 1v1 and then I start ragging him around, I break his fishing shifts, yeah, I break like two of them, and I, bur I break his duck. And then I do it again, I break like three fishing ships, I break his duck. And then I start attacking, I do the same to the butts, basically. And then I'm, I'm way in front at that point. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna build a wonder. And he's just like, he's like, where are you right now? And I'm like, I'm fighting green. And then he just, he flares somewhere on the map, is he over there? And I'm like, no, he's over there. And I flare where I am, and he just gets fucking demolition ships to destroy my ships when I'm killing a butt. And I'm like, okay. And then I build a, I build a wonder shortly after that. And then he just gets like a shit ton of units on my island, and he's like, see, you lost the moment you attacked me. That's a, a really bad winner, because of course at that point I had no way of winning. I didn't have even I didn't even have land troops, okay? And my all right, gonna add something else to the story. Um, I put population limit up to I mean down to rather 100. Uh, 100 is really low, and the map was on tiny. Um, basically, I used up all my resources super fast. I made a lot of villagers. Um, smart playing for the beginning, but then I had too many villagers and. I had about 40 villagers on with my 100 population limit and I had a lot of boats, I had maybe like 5 fishing boats even. Um, not a very smart play from my part towards the end, I was at 13,000 wood, 11,000 food and about 7,000 gold if I remember correctly and units, I could have made like 200 troops easily but I didn't make any land troops because I was population capped. I didn't make any siege units because I didn't plan on attacking anyone, I just wanted to win by wonder and yeah, I didn't make any castles because I never mined stone and yeah, I don't usually try to defend a wonder so should have known to make a castle and make uh, trebuchets to shoot down their trebuchets, even make land troops to kill their trebuchets but I didn't do either because I was population capped and uh, there was nothing to do really when he got on the island um, he just tried really hard to go for that wonder I mean sure I would have tried to win also but I would have just I don't think I would have been such a bitch I would have just told him you know hey you should have placed a wonder further or something like that just taunt him once not like 50 times my boats are not gonna freaking shoot on the land and beat land units like that doesn't work and he's getting trebuchets out he has like five of them shooting at my wonder in like maybe three minutes after he got on the island so at that point I know I know I lost I knew I lost the moment he got on the island and he, st he just keeps going about it like you know how some people are just gonna fucking tell you they're winning even if you know they're winning they know you know you're winning uh, but they don't know wait wait I said okay so at this point I messed up I switched you and like you as in me the person talking and them so basically it's the opposite point of view but what I said is you know they know you're they're winning because of course it's clear they are winning so you know they are winning and you also know they know they're winning because it's clear they're winning but they don't know that you know they're winning or rather they think um, I don't know it's a good idea to just remind you that they're winning just uh, like every every few seconds in case you forget so yeah you could kind of realize that gets really annoying when he has a couple insults in there and we're just playing uh, somewhat friendly and yeah Basically, I should never have played that game. I invited him by accident because I went AFK and I told him BRB. Well, not BRB, I told him, uh, I said, I think we're on TeamSpeak. And I said, I have to go. And I dropped my mic because I, I had to go. 
and then I come back an hour later and I see his message like invite me when you're back and then I click on the button invite and I'm like fuck I should have never invited that guy I should have deleted him before leaving because even in the game where we lost and I played like 10 times better than he did uh, he was still fucking bitching about it how it was my fault that we lost even though I ended with like triple his points easy um, that was really stupid but yeah next time I will know if you get pissed about someone you delete him straight away you don't fucking mess around with these guys uh, last time I got pissed at someone uh, before that it was on RuneScape uh, and the guy basically I kept trusting him kept trusting him and one day he asks me for two mil I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna give you two mil he gives it back like four days later then he asks me for one mil and I'm like you know what you're gonna stop asking me for um, for money if I give you this lend him four mil what do you fucking know he takes it and leaves and sells his account gives it to his friends he quits he deletes me on Skype deletes me on PlayStation deletes my other accounts on PlayStation changes his RuneScape name or his friend did changes his other RuneScape name deletes me on all account and his friend starts to play RuneScape 3 on that account I track him down he doesn't answer so yeah, really good experience overall. This talking about that gets me fucking mad as hell. And then he goes on to say I'm a sore loser after fucking like insulting me. He basically said I'm gonna attack you last. And I said, dude, you can't attack me last, you already attacked me. And he's like, no, I did not attack you. And I'm like, okay, so you didn't attack me, but you broke my wonder. How does that work? And he's like, well, it's not attacking you if it's to break a wonder. Then I'm like, how is it not attacking me if, if it's breaking a wonder? Well, because you attacked first. Now, it's not even the same argument. This argument was because I make it a wonder, and then it just became because I attacked first. And I'm like, well, it's still attacking. Even if you attack back, it's still attacking. And he's like, no, because you attacked first. And then I'm like, how do you pal how do you plan on attacking me last if you already attacked me? And at that point he had used the word attack in one of his sentences, so like, he basically admitted it, and I think he knew it. And then he's like, I mean currently, currently, you idiot. And I said, you never said currently. And he said, yeah, currently, I just said currently like 50 times. Oh, you really have to be French to not understand the word currently. And I'm like, dude, you're using fucking no logic right now. And he's like, how am I using no logic? You don't even understand the word currently. And I'm like, dude. You literally were arguing the definition of attacking right now. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm not arguing about the definition of attacking. You don't even understand the word current. How can you even argue on definitions? And oh my god, I was just so mad at that point because like... <sighs> that guy, and even, even said like, I was a sore loser after fucking insulting me in my face. He thought I was getting mad because I was losing. Like I fucking care about a game of Age of Empire, dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah, one last thing. Every time we were with him, every single game we started, he'd say, we're gonna lose. Every single game. Every single game he would say we were going to lose before the game started. And I'm like, dude, how can you tell we're going to lose? And he's like, I don't know, I just think we're going to lose. Like, yeah, fucking great, dude. Great addition to the conversation, just saying we're going to lose for no reason. Really helps everybody, and clearly your opinion matters here, because that that statement you just made, no flaw in it, no flaw in it, because yes, you can tell what is going to happen in this game, you know? You're just that good. Thank you for sharing your opinion with everybody. No, we don't give a fuck, okay? <sighs> and yeah. Basically, he kept whistling every time. The Age of Empire music, he just kept whistling it. And it was so goddamn loud. At one point, I just wanted to leave TeamSpeak and tell him, stop whistling game. But then he would have gotten like even more mad, and I don't know. I was, I didn't really want to delete him at that point even though I really should have like I said earlier but I still wasn't sure at that point and he, I'm, I'm just like he starts whistling and after like 10 seconds like 10 seconds fucking straight I'm like oh my god and he's like what and I'm like the whistling and he's like 
And then 40 seconds later, it just starts again and I didn't say anything. He just did it for a total of maybe like two minutes during the next like half an hour, but it's just so goddamn like annoying, but like really, really annoying. Like, I don't know if strident is the word for this. I'm not sure if strident is even a word in English, but if it is, then that's the word for it, I guess. Although some translations don't have the same meaning, but I'm gonna guess that one does if it does exist. Yeah, I didn't mean translation. I meant um, that some words are typed or written, rather, the exact same way in French and English, but they're not the same, so that's what I meant. That's obviously not a translation, but yeah, that's what I meant to say. And yeah, I think this is the end of the video. <sighs> I would say I hope you enjoyed, but I don't even know why I recorded this and why I uploaded this. I guess, um, whatever. If you meet the kid in game, death the kid, uh, I don't know, flag him for player harassment or something. Um, if you meet him in real life, uh, shoot him a bullet in the back of the head. He deserves both things I just said just as much, I think. Well, no, but I mean... Yeah, what I meant to say here is basically he doesn't deserve both things just as much. He deserves getting shot in the back of the head a lot more than getting flagged on Age of Empire. Um, false flagging people is a really bad thing, don't do it.
Alright, so after watching that, I guess you do understand, uh, I was kind of playing for fun. Sure, I wanted to win, but, like, I only built one layer of stone walls and I put one castle next to the wonder, and... I, I didn't even react when he got freaking horses on the island. I didn't think he would be getting trebuchets out and more transport ships, getting these castles on my island also. I, I guess, like, getting a wonder down is... I, I was just using my villagers doing random shit at this point, like <laughs> mining this stone. Uh, I still had the ships going. Oh, this guy didn't attack me? Well, yeah. I don't even know, like... I, w I was not even making these villagers move. <laughs> this castle killed, like, all my remaining villagers. And he's like... I'm gonna be the good guy here, and I'm not going to finish you off. That's w that's literally what he said, so yeah. You know, what a nice guy. Kind of insults me every few seconds, but yeah, he thinks he's the nice guy. Okay. Um, yeah. I didn't try, I didn't try that hard, I didn't even invade any one of these guys, I could have invaded these guys so easily, if you look at their, like, ships, like these war galleys, you can get them out with maybe 10 fire ships, they're good, so no more ships, over here, 10 fire ships over here, um, that would destroy these units, on the island, we only have, oh, well the game ended, but yeah, we only have a few knights, and that is not enough to stand, like, a, um, a few arbalists, if you ask me. And I would have just been pumping them out non-stop. You couldn't see my resources, but towards the end, before I built the first wonder, I was near 10,000 in all of them, uh, above in food and wood, and just a bit under in gold. So, yeah, um, I was out of resources, and I didn't invade anyone, of course. Uh, what I should have done is, looking at the island, made the wonder on Yellow's island probably, and tried to defend it over there, and have Blue Island sending it to Yellow's island and completely just destroy Yellow, who cares? And I did not do that, because I, I was not trying, I, I thought he was not trying either, because he was getting mad about me destroying his ducks, so... I didn't. I wasn't really looking at his points. I should have realized he was going to do something because he had a bit of points, and I should have known he was going to have a second duck at the beginning of that game. Also, only broke broke one of his ducks, but yeah, um, whatever. I'm not mad about losing the game. As I said, I'm mad about um, just arguing with someone for no reason because he doesn't respond to reason so yeah